College basketball players that decided to test the NBA waters have been given an extension to make their final decision. Michigan's Isaiah Livers is one of those players, and he joins us now. Isaiah, how much of a relief was the news when the NCAA expanded that deadline? Uh, it was a big relief. Uh, I knew when coron the coronavirus hit, uh, going to this decision, when I made my decision, I knew uh, June 3rd, I, I actually knew it was going to be pushed back just a little bit. I just didn't know when they were going to do it. So when the news finally got out, it was great clarity on when I can make my decision with my uh, family. So it was perfect. So what has this process been like for you, Isaiah? I mean, you haven't had the chances that players have had in years before because of the coronavirus shutdown. How are you able to impress teams? Um, basically using my voice, uh, interview. Um, you, you, you get to do Zoom calls like this and talking with them and just tell me, telling them about myself. So they even tell, them, tell me about themselves. So it's actually a perfect combo to see if we fit or not. So that's just really the only way you can impress right now unless later since they postpone draft combine and lottery and stuff that will actually may get a chance they may they may see us work out like how it usually worked before the virus but who knows at this point so you just basically got to do your, your best in the interviews have you made up your mind yet and, and what will be the thing that sways you one way or another to go pro or return to michigan um i haven't really made up my mind yet i'm still taking feedback and evaluation and really just what I hear from these teams, um, they're talking to my coaches and what they think uh, my career will be or how it will entail if I come out this year or the year after. And I'm just basically trying to get the best knowledge possible that I can come together with my family mentors and coaches and make the best decision. Isaiah, you played for John Beeline and had great success there and he had incredible success there. Were you mm -hmm. surprised by how poorly things went for him in Cleveland? Um, I actually was. Coach Beeline's a big, big guy on characters and relationships. So I'm, I was a little bit confused when I seen what happened up there in Cleveland, I mean, over there in Cleveland. And uh, I was kind of confused by, I talked to some players who uh, talked about it with the Cleveland Cavaliers players. And they just said, basically it's got off on the wrong foot. Um, it was just basically that seemed like there was that first impression that coach Beeline and the, the players had in the first um, communication. So Beeline leaves, he's the guy that recruits you there. Juwan Howard comes in. What's the biggest, biggest difference between these two coaches besides, of course, Howard's dancing skills? <laughs> well, basically, uh, Coach Howard's a bit more of a, a player's coach, and that kid, that's good. It goes actually great in both ways. I mean, coach Beeline was also just a good dude, and not saying Coach Howard isn't a good dude. Coach Beeline, yeah, he's, he didn't play basketball like Coach Howard. He didn't have the experience to go for, but it was just different hearing from uh, – guy who played in the league for so long like coach Howard did and just hearing his experience and just kind of just picking his mind off of in uh, his league. I say this team was so good at the start of the year. You guys won that big early season tournament, uh, you know, skyrocketed in the rankings and then some injuries hit and, you know, just kind of up and down. But when that tournament was canceled, how big of a disappointment was that for you? How deep do you think you guys could have gone? I, in all my heart, we would have won the Big Ten tournament and we would have won NCAA tournament and that's straight my belief not saying I don't I can't talk for other people on my team but going that getting canceled it really hurt because just because I was starting to actually feel 100% back to normal I was able to jump move run cut like I was in the beginning of the season so I was just getting back to uh, the beginning of the season about how I was playing and it was it just really sucks I couldn't go out there and just reform